All right, guys, today we get to go ahead and tear apart a 68 RFE. We have a little issue, as you can see, that is not supposed to move. Um, broke the bell housing, so we're gonna do a few things to mitigate some of these issues, because this is the second transmission that I've gone through in the last few months on my 2500 Dodge Ram. And so I've got a new case and everything to put all of these internals into, but we're gonna build something to make this a little bit more beefy. So we're gonna take this and turn it into Right, guys so here with the new case for the 68 RFE the internals should be fine I'm running a stock Cummins you can usually get away with the stock internals up to a mild build for a Cummins um, the big issue is just the case itself so we have to try to mitigate a few issues there's some things out there to help make it stronger but the problem is the things on the market only make this part of the transmission stronger this is the common failure point somewhere in here. Right about the middle is where I broke my last transmission and you end up losing your overdrive clutch pressure or a couple of gears and things like that. Well, the problem is you can make this strong, but then it's gonna go to the next weakest point and you're gonna end up breaking your transmission case somewhere else. So that's what happened to me. Bell housing, that's where I broke mine. And there's nothing out there that actually makes this stronger in this area. So we're gonna to try to do a couple things today, make this stronger, swap all the internals, and I'll try to walk you through what my thinking is, trying to make a 68 RFE survive behind the Cummins. All right. Now, one very important thing is to make sure that you deburr the case, prevents stress risers. Here I'm actually just tearing off the tail housing so I can use it for mock-up for making the new brace. And then we get into actually tearing down the transmission case, which is a fairly straightforward process if you don't have to rebuild everything. And I like to lay everything out in a sequence that makes sense to my brain. And then we throw it all back into the new case right here. The same way we pulled it all out. This isn't a tutorial on how to rebuild a transmission. Those are out there. This one is just mostly about the brace. Here I actually did some slash cut tubes and TIG welded some spacers that I made, or washers if you will. Took some tube, put it into the bender, started fitting everything up so it conformed to the case as well as possible. Trying not to create an item that was too difficult to get back into the truck. And naturally, I have to pay some homage to the Miller Multimatic 220 ACDC welder, best all around welder out there on the market. And here you have the final product. Two tubes running up the sides of the transmission. Those are inch and a quarter, 120 wall tubes. I have two tubes connecting those slash cut pieces that I showed you earlier, and those bolt right into the bell housing. And on the flip side, you have the plate that connects towards the tail housing. Uh, cut that out on the plasma table. And then there's a couple of plates that are bent that go directly to the transfer case adapter. After everything was all TIG welded up, this thing turned out to be a very rigid 
but compact unit that fit actually really well inside the transmission tunnel of that Dodge Ram. And there you have it, the beefiest 68 RFE brace known to anyone. All right guys, so I know what you're thinking, what did I just waste my time on watching? That's okay. Uh, it's been about four months since I actually did all the filming for that video. And I gotta say, I've learned a lot since then. Um, I knew almost nothing about videography at the time. Hopefully I know a little bit more now. I think I do, but we'll see how things go. I know though, if you stick around, I can only get better from here. Uh, on the flip side though, being four months, the follow-up with that transmission case brace, uh, it's doing phenomenal. Everything's back in the truck, it fit perfect, I can't complain about it at all, and I'm happy with it. I can't wait to see what else I'm gonna come up with, and I want to see some feedback from you guys. How can I give you better content? What do you want to see? And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, until next time, Gearhead Fabworks, out. And good God, see how bad I am at this already? Uh, if you wanna see better content, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, maybe leave a comment below, tell me how awful I am. I don't care, that's fine, cause I'm only gonna get better. See you guys next time.